Hello everyone. I am Krupa Leruparal and today I am going to share a short summary of an essay of dramatic poetry by Sean Dryden. An essay of dramatic poetry. It was written by John Dryden in the year 1666 and was first published in the year 1668. so it was written in the neo classical age or the restoration age it is in semi dramatic form in which the writer deals with major critics and tastes of men and women of the time of dryden the narrative of an essay of dramatic poetry has four characters namely critus eugenius lysidius and neander Neander is the one who holds the views of Dryden. The narrative begins by these four gentlemen discussing on modern literature who are traveling by boat to see the battle that was going on between England and the Netherlands. Here Critias speaks in favor of ancient drama, Eugenius speaks in favor of modern dramatists, Lysidius uh, speaks in favor of French drama of early 17th century and Neander talks about the greatness of Elizabethans. Critias opens the discussion by saying that none of the modern works can be compared to that of ancient Greek and Roman literature. He talks about Aristotle who believed drama is imitation of life. Critias holds that ancient literature is successful because it depicts life. He says that that neoclassical and classical works are successful and most appropriate because they favor unity of time place and action thus by giving some examples he concludes his conversation by saying that ancient literature is more skillful in language than their successors now as said earlier eugenius favors modern dramatists but instead of talking about the virtues of moderns he criticizes the classical playwrights and focuses on their faults according to him classical drama is not divided into acts and lacks originality he also says that the classical drama also lacks affection so by giving some more examples and adding more points He also ends his conversation by saying that modern dramatists are superior than all. Now comes the opinions of Lysidius. He strongly believes that the French drama of early 17th century is superior of all as it follows unity of time, pace and action. French dramatists never mix tragedy and comedy. they strictly adhere to poetic justice that is punish the vice and reward the virtue the french dramatists interweave truth with fiction to make it interesting they select emotions over plots after all these three speaks meander he contradicts lysidius arguments favoring superiority of french drama for him elizabethans fulfill the drama's requirement that is imitation of life for neander tragic comedy is the best form of drama he believes that subplots enrich the drama and thus elizabethans are superior as they have variety of themes deviations wit at the end of the discussion there is an argument between critias and neander for the rhyme of the play Critias favors blank verse and Neander defends rhyme. Meanwhile, the boat on which they were traveling reaches the destination and they end their conversation without any conclusion being made. Thus, it's a piece of literary criticism where views from different angles are being presented by John Dryden. Thank you.